Hello and welcome to our discussion on cost management. The focus of this session is material cost variances. To understand that, let us take this example. A manager of a company was very upset that the material cost variant, material cost per unit of output is uh, increased disproportionately. He had purchased, in fact, uh, materials from a new supplier at a very low price. He wanted to know why did the cost change and for that he investigated the standard and compared the same with the actual. The standard information says that 80 units of output can be produced by using A and B raw materials in the ratio of 3 to 2 at the price of 40 and 50 respectively. Whereas the actual cost for the month of Jan, he produced 680 units, 660 units by using 102, 1200 units of output um, in the ratio of 5 is to 7. And the cost per unit is 74. So, so to put this information and find out in an actual cost compared with the standard cost, the standard cost per unit of output as per the calculation is 55 rupees per unit of output. Actual 500 units of A at the rate of 42, 700 units of B at the rate of 40, the output is 660, so the cost per unit has become 74. So there is a variance per unit of 19, 19 rupees per unit of output and the actual output is uh, 660 so therefore material cost variance is equal to 12,700 adverse. So Per, for every unit of output, 19 rupees per of cost of material has gone up. So there is a need to investigate and understand why did this cost change. So for that we are going to undertake a comprehensive material cost variances. To, we know that material cost variance is, may arise due to quantity variance or may due to price variance. And uh, so let us first observe these two and then examine the quantity variance further to segregate the impact of the change in the composition and the quality of the material. In order to do that we need some information and these are the usual information which is required to calculate the variances. One is called the standard quantity. Standard quantity is a expected input for actual output. 80 units requires 60 units of input so therefore 660 will require 495. Similarly the standard quantity of B will be 330. So that means to produce to produce 660 units of uh, output, the company should have used should have used 825 units of um, input, but actually they have used 1,200 units of input. The price is for A. It is uh, the price is uh, 40. Right, the price is equal to 42 and uh, no, standard price was 40 and 50 respectively whereas the actual price is 42 and 40 respectively. We can see that the price of B is much below the extended price. And um, so the actual quantity used is 1200 units. So instead of 825, the company has used 1200, so therefore the cost will definitely 
increase because we have consumed, the company has consumed more material. But besides that, this material consumption is not, has not happened in this ratio. 6 is to 4 or 3 is to 2, which is called standard mix. The standard mix is the ex actual input in the expected ratio. The expected ratio is 60 by 40. So 1200 should have been used at 720 and 480. But the composition has changed. So therefore cost variance has happened because of the change in the quantity and also because of the change in the mix. And SY is an expected output from actual input. You can see that the expected output is 80 from 100 units of input. 80% of input is output. So a from 1200, the production should have been 960, but the production has actually happened is 660. So, so we can see that the cost has changed because the quantity has changed, because the price has changed, because the composition has changed, and also the cost is also reflected through the quality of the material because the standard yield is much higher than the actual yield. So now let us segregate this variance into quantity variance, price variance, mix variance and yield variance. So the quantity variance, standard quantity in, into the standard quantity into Act standard price and actual quantity into actual price. So therefore material cost variance with respect to A and with respect to B together is 12,700 adverse variance. You can see that this is same. Here we calculated on the basis of output and here we are trying to understand the cost variances from input point of view. And this 12,700 adverse variance arises due to the price variance and the quantity variance. So let us see the price variance and the quantity variance respectively. So the price variance is a change in a price. So change in price impact on the cost. So in case of A, we paid, the company has paid 2 rupees more per unit of raw material. But whereas in case of B, the company has paid 10 rupees less as the manager has mentioned, he has purchased the material from a new supplier at a low cost. So overall, because the purchase of B is more, and the purchase of B has happened as a lesser price, the price variance is favorable because we paid less. So this 6000 is a con price variance shows the contribution of variance to due to the change in the price to the total cost variance. So this gives us an idea that there is a negative 12700 overall variance However, the price variance is favorable. That means there is a huge quantity variance which is the change in the quantity consumed from the change in the quantity supposed to have consumed. So for A, we the company has consumed 5 units more whereas for B, the company has consumed 370 units more. And for company um, B, uh, for the product raw material B, the, the company has paid less. So it's possible that the reduction in the price of B might have actually led to purchasing the goods at a low off lower quality. So there is an adverse variance of quantity of A B. So let us see this. 
So the material cost variance is due to price variance and the quantity variance. Now let us examine the impact of the quantity variance on the cost. In order to do that, we have a, used the framework, the quantity variance arises due to the change in the mix, the composition of material and the quality. So the material mix variance will show the impact of the change in the composition on the cost and material yield variance will show impact in the quality of the material on the cost. So material, material cost is variance is equal to MPV plus MQV and MQV is equal to MMV material mix variance and material yield variance, material mix variance and material yield variance. Material, yield, material mix variance shows the change in the composition. If we have used, if the company has used 1200 in the um, standard ratio, that is the standard mix, that if uh, the company should have used this 1200 in the ratio of 6 is to 4, so it should have been 720 and 480. But actually, you have used 500 more of B and less of A. So as a result, the mix has completely changed or deviated from the standard. So the mix variance as a negative variance because of the change in the composition. So this 2200 adverse variance is a contribution of mix variance on to the quantity variance. The balance is considered to be the quality or which is also called yield variance. So for the given input, I should have produced 7, 960. So standard yield is the expected yield from the actual output. The expected yield is 80% of input. 80% of input. So if input is 1200, the output should have been 960. So there is a reduction in the yield because of the quality. The reduction in the quality is because of the price that I paid for B. And we paid B lesser price, so the company has used more material of B and all these together have resulted in the cost variance 12,700 adverse. So adverse or the material cost variance therefore is a result of the price variance and quantity variance and the quantity variance can be further subdivided into mix and the yield. Thank you very much.